contact? Shh. Yes, I am there. Don't break it. Hold it. It's critical for Mary. Don't break the link. Don't break it. Mary! Mary! I'm afraid Mary's dead. No! No, no! 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 Maybe I've got no imagination, but your story is a little tough to swallow. James McLuhan, busted twice for peddling and possession. That's right, so? And you expect me to believe that Mary Woodhouse died out of sheer fright while you were having a seance? Mm-hmm. Okay, fellas, you help us, we'll help you. What were you on? Coke? Grass? Where's the stash down the toilet? You don't deserve any help. You're a comic book version, Sergeant. Well, look better in your mugshot, you know. The great Teresa, the master medium. Yeah, for you, it's all in the book of, uh, your book of... What's it again? Enoch. Yeah, Enoch. According to you, this poor girl is dead because of a book that was written 4,000 years ago, correct? That's right. I would find such an unusual paradox of tremendous appeal terribly stimulating if I were a sleuth. Mm. 
the explanation in every detail of a crime before it's been committed. Lady, you're either on grass or you're pulling my leg. <laughs> no, the problem is in your mind. It can't accept the truth. But I'll help you just the same. In the Book of Enoch, the killer Jeez. is... Sergeant, come here and look! Who's playing games here? Come out of the floor, out of nowhere. Who lived downstairs? It's vacant. Has been for 26 years. But how the heck did... Don't you start acting up, too. It's only a prank. And I'll find out what's behind it, even if I have to tear the whole building apart. Keep refusing the truth. At this very precise moment, in some other distant town, Horrendously awful things are happening. Things that would shatter your imagination. Officer, I'm uh, looking for Sergeant Clay. And who are you? Oh, I'm Peter Bell, and you see, I'm with the New York... Don't tell me. You're a newspaper reporter, right? I can smell you guys a mile away. You're right, I'm a journalist. Look, there's this room down the station house that, uh... Well, someone kind of died mysteriously, and I want to talk to Sergeant Bell about it. It's not gonna be any mystery how the next guy dies if I let any unauthorized people in that house. Isn't there a way that uh, maybe you and I could come to a gentleman's agreement? You're talking into my deaf ear, pal. Now take my advice and beat it before the sergeant comes out. Okay. I'll take your advice.
we're in the wrong season suddenly. Damn dust, all these high winds, pretty unusual. By the way, I hear Cindy Horan never went home last night. So? Huh, it sure wouldn't be the first time. I remember once she was sitting in... something ever since father Thomas hanged himself I've done which ain't been the same it's kind of scary a uh, few beers and you fellas start seeing ghouls and devils all over the place well you saw what happened didn't you sure but that doesn't mean there isn't any explanation could have been a truck passing by a vibration anyway I've lost my mirror you forget who our ancestors were <laughs> no I forgot how many beers you've drunk. So let's have another house buys. I gotta go. Well, wait, what see about you. the Me too. Wait up, Mike. I'll see you around. So long. No, wait. Mike, Ross! New construction. I'll tell you. <laughs> Build garbage like this. I'm gonna lose all of my customers. The language is risque, I admit it. But the overall message couldn't have been more puritanical. And uh, why did you choose the topic of incest? When I was eight years old, I wanted to marry my father. I guess all girls that age want to marry their fathers. Anyway, I got over it pretty quickly. He was a drunk. One day, he just picked up and left my mother and me. Did this leave any particular emotional feeling in you at the time? Emptiness. That and pity for my mother. I began to hate all men, and I... Excuse me, Jerry. Oh, hi, Sandra. How are you? Hello, Emily. Well, <laughs> I come so early. I mean, I thought we'd made it for eight. That's the trouble. I can't make it tonight. Huh? I have to see Bob. Oh, Bob. You're not upset, are you? No, I'm not upset. I may be a little <laughs> worried, perhaps. I mean, you have been seeing an awful lot of them, haven't you, lately? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor Bob. Hmm? He's a sick and lonely kid. I don't see why people hate him so. His mother was what you'd call a woman of easy virtue. No husband, no morals. Here in Dunwich, anybody like that is also branded a witch. Look, Sandra, I don't believe those idiots who tell me that our ancestors were Salem witch burners, all right? Okay, okay. Jerry, I am sorry. Don't worry. I'll see you tomorrow. Around nine? Sure thing. Bye. Bye. So long, Sandra. Bye-bye. And take it easy. <laughs> Jack, bye. Bye. Okay, Sandra. Where were we? On the same old problem. Men. Why do they have to make life so difficult? Did he hurt you? Did he claw you? Oh, it's just frightened. Strange. It's the first time he ever acted up like that. He loves to have you pet him. He always comes to you when you're here. Something must have frightened him. Dirtiest thoughts. 
telling you, you're gonna end up a dirty old man. A pervert. Peep in town. Talk about bucks, lunches, man. I saw a porno flick once. Where this guy got so carried away, he humped himself to death. Too much of a good thing. Yeah, but what a way to go. What's the matter? Never see a body on Earth before? Any law against looking? Yeah. Okay, I'm leaving. Time, you guy. Let's flip to see who goes in the hole. All right. Call it. Heads. Tails in the hole, sucker. What are you still doing here, pal? Oh, come on, fellas. What do you want from us? Nothing. I'm just curious about this girl here, that's all. Look, why don't you guys go ahead with your work, you know? Pretend I'm not around. Well, move, because we're almost finished. Five o'clock. We bust our balls enough. Let's go. Hey, man. Hey, hey, you're not gonna, you're not gonna leave her like that, are you? Uh, union hours. Anyways, what does she care? She's not in any hurry. Is she?
But for you, Mary would have suffered a terrible death. I was just lucky. No, it was written. Are you acquainted with the Book of Enoch? A text which dates back to more than 4,000 years ago. It contains man's first recorded description of his, his boundless mortal fear in the face of malice itself. A demanding, implacable enemy whose search for blood is never satiated. Mary, tell your experience everything you witnessed during our last seance. The city of the dead. The living dead. A cursed city, where the gates of hell have been opened. Mm. Where, uh, where exactly is this city? I don't know where it is. All I know is that it's called Dunwich. Well, I've never heard of it. Uh, how do you know? I mean, how can you be so sure? I read the name on a tombstone. Mr. Bell, if those gates are left open, it may be the end of humanity. We've got to try to get them shut again. At midnight on Monday, we go into All Saints Day. The night of the dead begins then. And if the portals of hell don't get shut before, no dead body will ever be able to rest in peace again. And so the dead will rise up and take over the earth, and you must have got to get to Dunwich. You must reclose those gates. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Bob? Bob! Bob! What's happened? Did you hurt yourself? It's you, Mr. Robbins. No, Emily's not here, I'm afraid. What's that? She's usually home this hour of the night. I hope nothing's happened to her. There's, there's been a lot of strange talk circulating. Oh, come now, Mr. Robbins. Ignore it. People here in this town thrive on that stuff. You should know that by now. She'll be home in another couple of minutes. Uh, if you need me for any reason, though, feel free to call. I should be at the studio for at least another hour or so, okay? Goodbye, Mr. Robbins. Goodbye. Please. No, please, hey. Tommy. What the devil's the matter, honey? You treat me like I was a stranger. What have I done? Tell me. How come you picked out here to park? This place gives me the willies. Oh, Rose, go on. You're not a little child now. You don't really believe in that stupid Salem witch stuff, do you? No, of course not. What's wrong? Sorry, Tommy, but I keep thinking that, like somebody's out there spying on us. Come on, there isn't anyone out there. Watch, I'll turn on the headlights.
You know this Dunnage? It's not even on the map. So, you don't believe me, do you? That's not the point. Just gonna be harder to find, that's all. We don't even know where to start, do we? You know, I give my inner visions too, you know. Just let me meditate over a bottle of scotch and, uh... And? I'll take you anywhere. <laughs> She certainly wasn't strangled. Doesn't seem to have been any kind of physical abuse. What was the cause of her death, then? Some kind of cardiac arrest. Only that expression on her face looks like pure fear, like something scared her to death. Scared uh, Excuse you. me, Mr. Robbins. Do you know if your daughter had a heart condition? No. No? No, no, she was... Mr. Robbins. Oh, God. God. <laughs> well, what's our procedure? Sit tight. Everything depends on the yeah. autopsy. I'll sit tight. You'll get your orders after that from the DA. Okay, but let me hear from you, Joe. What's your opinion, Jerry? What's there to say? I'm at a total loss. It was... it was Bob! That pervert, you can bet on it. They should have put him away for life after what he tried to do with poor little Ann Ross. Listen, I'll call out all cars after that boy. And I wouldn't be surprised if he could tell us what happened to Rosie Kelvin. And Frank's kid, too. Sheriff Russell! Sheriff, what the dickens is this? Good Lord. That kid's gonna fry. Mark my word. Editor wouldn't believe you, huh? Listen, when Adrian De Niro told me about it two years ago, that I meet a girl who's been buried alive, I didn't believe him either. I mean, I laughed right in his face. De Niro was aware of many things. He knew all about the City of the Dead. Okay. Okay. Say I believe you. Did you see... When you were in this trance, did you see anything... Besides that tombstone? Oh, yes. I saw a priest... who, by hanging himself, opened the gates of hell. He must be destroyed. Our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. This way, please. He maketh me lie down in green pasture. Yea, so I walk through the valley of the shadow. Where is she? Where is my Emily? We're still preparing her, Mrs. Robbins. <laughs> Mrs. Holden? Yes. Mrs. Holden died last night. And according to Dr. Thompson, was frightened to death. Frightened to death? That's what he said. Fear. Of what? 
Damned if I know, Doc. It's the strangest thing I ever heard of. Fear. There's been talk that Rose Calvin and Tommy Fisher disappeared, too. They went to the movies last night, and nobody's seen them since. That makes five people that have disappeared in the last 48 hours. I think it's Bob. I don't believe in this superstitious nonsense. Yeah, maybe you're right. Sure. Remember two years ago when Bob took my little Ann into the woods? It was a miracle we found him in time. Yeah, well, I say it's him. He's the one causing all the trouble around here. God only knows what he did to poor Emily. All I know is the Aaron Dunwich is getting awful thick. Soon as I can find somebody to buy my shop and my house, I'm vamoosing. You can bet your ass. <laughs> Calm down, dear. Take it easy. Calm down. My baby. My poor baby. You... You... You'd better take John John out. Yes, of course. John John. Come on, let's go outside. We'll take a walk. You have to be strong now. You have to find the courage to face life, John. You have to be a man now. You know what I mean? in the glove box. Look, I'm not joking. I'm starved. Look, you're the one that got me out here in the armpit of the world chasing your galloping cadavers. Come on. Let's go have a snack someplace, huh? Okay. You, uh, want to give up? Look, why don't you get in the car and we'll go and check out the local cuisine. Don't be upset. Upset? Who's upset? According to your theory, we have less than 48 hours before this uh, All Saints Day. Oh, please, not now. Do you mind? Come on. Let's go check out the uh, local cuisine, huh?
Oh, Emily went away forever, John, John. She's in heaven. I saw her, I saw her, I saw her. I really did. We better call the doctor. I'm all right. I don't need a doctor. I don't want a doctor. I saw her. You've had a big day. You're upset. We all are. Off you go now. Go to bed. I don't want to go, Mommy. I'm scared. Emily's going to get me. I know it. Hello. It's me, Sandra. You have to come right away. No, there's no time to explain. You wouldn't believe me anyway. Just come, please. I'm having a nervous breakdown. Yes, okay, Sandra. Just calm down and control yourself. What is it? There are only two possibilities. Either I'm going out of my mind or something very, very strange is happening. Look, take it easy. I'll be there in ten minutes, honey. Bye. Jerry, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Come in. Come in. What do you need that for? I don't know. Maybe a crucifix would be better. A crucifix? What the hell are you talking about? Tell me the truth. Do you consider me a basket case? No, not at all. Why? You're nurturing a fat neurosis, that's all. Like about 70% of the female population of this country. So according to you, I'm not stark raving mad. At least not yet. Don't be silly. Of course not. Sometimes you may drink a little more than you should, but that's no reason to be taken away and put into a loony house. No, no, I'd rather not right now, and you really shouldn't either. All right. You better see for yourself. It's in the kitchen. The kitchen?
Was I just imagining things? No, Ken, it's not. Ah, uh, it's her, Mrs. Holden. This morning she was inside a coffin at the funeral home, and now she's here in my kitchen. How? How did she get here? I don't know. I heard a noise. I came to look, and there she was on my floor. I called you right after. I thought I was losing my mind. Okay. Let's use our heads and not panic. Calm down. We've got to find out how she got here, all right? I couldn't give a damn how she got here. I just want her gone. Look, let's get out of here. I can't take the side of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, a good stiff drink is the only medicine. What are you going to do? Well, I don't believe in the twilight zone, so I guess I'll call the sheriff on this matter. And what will you tell him? Exactly what you told me. That you heard this noise, that you came running and saw her there, and the rest is up to them. <gasps> what was that? Someone took her away. Or maybe she just left. Don't be ridiculous. Bodies don't get up and walk away by themselves. <gasps> she's still here. She's still in the house. No, she's in here. Sandra. No, she's still in the house. Sandra, get hold of yourself. I don't want to see her anymore. Sandra, this is no way. Jerry, get her out. Six, Please. Calm down. Tell her to go. Yes, yes. No, she's in here. Do you hear her? Jerry, she's in here. I can't. Anymore. Sandra, Sandra, calm down. Calm down. Here? Calm down. Don't let your imagination run away with you. I don't know what the hell is going on in here either. Sir. So we're going to take it step by step and search every room in the house, all right? And we'll find the reason. All right, Sandra? Now you're going to follow me. Follow me now. Come on now. That's it. All right? All right. Okay. I'll do whatever. I don't think I'll manage to sleep here tonight. Well, if you want to stay at my studio or the house, you're always welcome. <gasps> Dunwich? Yes, yes, I know it. Odd that you're looking for Dunwich. Yes, matter of fact, uh, Yes, that's the town where Father Thomas... Terrible. Oh, terrible. You know that Dunwich was built on the ruins of the original Salem, the village of witches and heresy and evil. Yes, but uh, can you tell us how to get there? It's not easy. You'll have to go back towards the highway. And as you approach it, there's a road. 
going left. Mm -hmm. Block by landslide. That'll take you to Dunwich. Thanks a lot. Uh, just out of curiosity, <laughs> why are you folks going down there? Uh... Well, we're just looking up a friend. Oh, I see. Thanks again. Help us. Hey, Bob. What are you doing in the backseat of my dad's car? I didn't know where to sleep. You won't tell on me, will you? No, of course not. Only you get some awful weird ideas. Come on, smoke a little joint with me. Only then you better split, okay? <gasps> it's him! Go on, get out of here! What are you doing? I'm not the dog! You get in the house! Get <laughs> through! I, I, I can explain everything, Mr. Ross! Shut up, you bastard! <laughs> uh. What are you trying to do to my daughter? Huh? Please let me explain, Mr. Ross. I was only looking for a place to sleep. I swear. Perfect. No. Murderer. No. 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 I guess there's nobody in. That's strange. What do you plan on doing? I have a feeling this is where the answer is. We've got to find the undertaker or someone from the funeral parlor. Maybe they've gone to the cemetery. You go. I'll wait in your office. I don't think I could take a cemetery right now. Fair enough. Yes, that's it. That's the very same tombstone that I saw in my trance. Great. Welcome to the City of the Dead. 
Now what do we do? We must find the priest's grave and uncover him. There isn't much time left. All Saints Day begins at midnight. Well, where do we start? Okay, uh, well, it's gotta be one of these. You know, good thing he didn't hang himself in Arlington. Yes? Excuse me, uh, I wonder if you could give us some information. Sure. Well, we're, uh, we're looking for a tombstone of, uh, of a, of a priest who hanged himself. Father Thomas? We don't know his name. Well, why are you looking for his burial site? It's, uh, it's a long story. One you might not want to believe. Try me. I'm just about ready to believe anything at this point. And that's the whole story. My God in heaven. The living dead. And that's why you're here in Dunwich? But what do you want to do? What are you hoping to accomplish? The death of Father Thomas gave birth to some... some evil... <laughs> Yeah, who's speaking? All right, Jan Jan. Now listen to me. You take it easy, and you stay right there and don't move, and I'll be right over. What happened? That was Emily's little brother, John John. He just told me that Emily killed her parents. Emily died two days ago.
Now listen, Sandra, go to the studio with John John, stay there, and don't let him out of your sight. Yeah, sure. Not for any listen, reason. Listen, Jerry, we better get a move on. We only have a couple hours before All Saints Day. God knows what else could happen.
found you safe, boy. Listen, there's a police car around the corner. Mary's there, too. You go straight to it. Go! Two with Sheriff Russell. Uh, we're on Main Street. Uh, we gotta go look for Father Thomas's grave. Yeah, they should have You want some of my men? No, I think it'd be better if you uh, took care of the kid. All right, I'll take care of the kid. Yeah. Mary, coming. Did he call? Yeah. Let's get going. Telling me what's going on? The dead are leaving their tombs. Oh, that's a load of crap. Crap or not? I'm taking my money. I'm closing my doors till tomorrow morning, and I'm not opening for anybody. I believe Father Thomas is buried in his family tomb over there. Guess what? It's All Saints Day.
Thomas family too. Now what? I wish I had a cigar. Shall we open it? Lady had a vision. You're sure. Mary? Ready? Oh boy, here we go. That's it. Hold on to this and let me try to give Bill a hand. God's sake, hurry. It's past midnight. My God, someone must have broken in from the other side. Or broken out. I want to go take a look. Give me a hand. Having received no further bulletins on police emergency operations, which are still in progress, we can only confirm our previous special broadcast. Citizens are requested to remain in their homes. Under no circumstances should anyone try to reach the state turnpike. We repeat, do not panic. Remain in your homes. Stay tuned to WDWC for further bulletins. For those who have just tuned in, we repeat our previous bulletin.
Sandra.